All right, folks, just a real quick video here. Um, this is the expansion board head of the Amiga. Uh, it's an A501, so it's a 512 uh, RAM expansion, which goes in the trap door at the bottom of the Amiga. And uh, I wanted to check the uh, real-time clock battery on this, and... It's as well as dead because look at the state of it. It's oozing stuff everywhere, and you can see it's done uh, a bit of damage uh, to the at least the solder mask. Anyway, I don't know how deep it is as I've only just opened it, and these things are soldered together, so I have to unsolder the two halves of the shield to get these open. But. All seems to be leaking from one end of the battery. So, yeah, lovely. I'm going to have to desolder this and clean all that board there. Make sure there's no damage to any traces or anything. It all looks like it's uh, you know, one big trace right around that battery there. So, hopefully we haven't done too much damage. Um, I may actually replace this battery. Um, that's 3.6 volt. So, yeah, I should be able to get something to replace that. Um, or I may just leave it, I don't know yet. I would like to replace it. But then again, you're, you know, you're only going to have leaking on down the line again. So... The rest of it looks okay. So you can see a bit of residue on the inside of the shield there as well. So that will all need all cleaned up before I put this thing back together. So definitely glad that I popped this open to check. I wasn't entirely sure if there was an actual battery in this, but for all the time it took, it took five minutes. With the solder iron and the solder sucker. Uh, put all the solder off the tabs on this. And get it open. So, I'll uh, pull this battery off here and I'll be back in a moment. Okay, that's the battery off there. And there it is there. And uh, just getting the camera to focus there. Yeah, so it's uh, pretty busted, this thing. It's starting to leak a bit on the other side. We're starting to corrode. It all seems to be coming out one end. So you can see the extent of the corrosion there from the battery acid. Let's just uh, add through the solder mask. But the the good thing is m most of the traces are on the back side of the board here and that's pretty clean so i'm just gonna scrape off the loose stuff here and uh, i will neutralize it with a bit of vinegar let the vinegar sit on it for a bit but, uh, just lift it that straight off if there had been any small traces there, they would have been destroyed. The blue corrosion. <laughs> it's disgusting. It's unfortunately, I'm going to lose the markings for these resistors. But I would rather just have this off. Get all that scraped off and neutralized now. Okay, that's uh, the majority of it scraped off there. You can see all the crap and corrosion and bits of solder mask come off there. I used the screwdriver and my fiberglass pen, which I hate using. Uh, you wind up full of little bits of fiberglass in your fingers after that. Uh, so I have uh, scraped most of it off there. Um, 
I could go mad and get the rest of this off, but I'm scared of doing any damage here. Um, as far as I can tell, the only trace is from this. I think it's a capacitor, I'm not entirely sure. But there's this trace goes across from this leg across to this point over here. And all the other traces seem to be underneath the board. So I don't think there's any damage here. Um, so I'm going to use just a bit of vinegar here to uh, try and neutralise the rest of that uh, acid there. Um, this is a, a wee tip that is found from or learned from Luke Morse who does this. Um, if he has a leaking battery he will put some vinegar on the corrosion and let it sit and it will actually eat the battery acid away um, without doing any damage to a wee drop of vinegar so I will use uh, some isoprop after that um, once this does its job I will clean the vinegar off with a bit of 100% uh, isoprop and that should be completely neutralized hopefully and won't do any more damage I think really this whole area of the board is really for the battery anyway um, as far as you can tell these resistors are connected to the battery terminals um, if I look underneath this comes from the one of the legs of the battery goes to one of the resistors and then on so I'm guessing this is all related to the battery so it was working um, anyway before I pulled it apart the memory board was working so I'll just leave that to do its work there for five minutes Okay, I think that's as good as it's gonna get. Uh, yeah, it was uh, pretty bad. <laughs> the corrosion has actually et into the metal in certain parts. Um, I just went nuts in the end and scraped it all away with the little screwdriver. There's still a couple of little bits there, like, but um, really, there's nothing on this board here it's all just you know uh, there's no traces here the only trace is this one it goes across to here and it's intact I have checked continuity and it's okay uh, these are just like blank pins there's nothing attaching to them um, if you can see them there that's the blank pins so yeah I don't think there's been any major damage here um, but yeah I'm glad I caught it before it sort of ate away at these resistors I could have just went right across and totally destroyed this thing um, <coughs> I don't know if I should uh, treat that with something Maybe put a bit of paint or something on it. I don't know. Uh, I don't want to just leave it bare copper because it's going to rust. Um, yeah, I don't know what I'll, what I'll do with that. But that's it for this video. Um, I think I'm actually going to change the capacitors while I'm in here. I may as well. There's only, there's only two of them. So that's it, guys. Just a quick look at this mess I've uncovered here. Hope you enjoyed watching. Catch you in the next one. Bye for now.